Okay, now to solve question number 10, part C, this uh, trig equation, uh, we are told to solve cosine brackets x minus pi over 3 equals 1 over root 2. And now in solving such equations, what we must do is make sure we do not lose out on any solutions. And in order to do that, we must modify um, the limits that we've been given, okay, according to what is inside this bracket, it's like a compound angle. So what we must do is, okay, we must um, do the following. In the beginning it says 0 is less than or equal to x, which is less than or equal to 2 pi. This x part must be replaced by whatever's inside this bracket, so it's going to become x minus pi over 3. Now, whatever was done to this x must be done to the other two parts of the inequality. So x minus pi over 3, okay, you've subtracted pi over 3 from the x, so you must subtract pi over 3 from the 2 pi, and you must subtract pi over 3 from the 0. So that gives us pi over 3 is less than or equal to x minus pi over 3, which is less than or equal to, well, this is 6 pi over 3 minus pi over 3, which gives us 5 pi over 3, just like adding fractions together. Okay? Um, if you're not sure about that, you can just do that on your calculator, but without the pi, you, or you can even, in fact, use a pi, it would still work. But you should really have that basic knowledge of how to subtract fractions. This is like equivalent fraction 6 pi over 3 minus 1 pi over 3 gives us 5 pi over 3. Okay, so there we have the limit. So we're going to make sure that our angles that we choose when we solve this trig equation lie within the range of, uh, sorry, negative pi over 3 and 5 pi over 3. 0 minus pi over 3 is negative pi over 3. So we've got to go from there to there to choose our solutions. So now what we're going to do is we're going to solve the equation. So you have cosine x minus pi over 3 is equal to 1 over the square root of 2. Now, um, to find what the angle is that has that ratio, you just use arc cosine or, or inverse cosine. So x minus pi over 3 equals arc cosine or inverse cosine of 1 over root 2. Now, this ratio, okay, this ratio, I've already got it then actually, is found Okay, I mean, you should really know by now, well, I guess by the time you get to A2C3, you would definitely know that 1 over root 2 gives you pi over 4. Okay, it's one of those standard ratios that you should get to get used to. But basically, if you want to find it, shift inverse cosine of 1 over root 2. 1 divided by root 2. Okay, and... Close the bracket, and you can see you're going to get a quarter pi in radians. Okay, we have it in radian mode because this is in radians. Okay, so that's the first solution. Okay, that's the first solution, um, and it's within our range. Okay, it's between minus pi over 3 and 5 pi over 3. It's within the range. Okay, so now we've got to look for other solutions. Now, for the cosine curve, it's symmetrical, okay, about 180 degrees, and we know that. Uh, basically, if you find one angle, the other angle which shares the same cosine ratio, okay, is always going to be 360 minus the angle that you found. So, 2 pi minus pi over 4, okay, this is like 8 pi over 4 minus pi over 4, which is 7 pi over 4. Okay, so 7 pi over 4 is a possible other solution. However, 7 pi over 4 is outside of our range, because if we compare these, we can compare them over 12. This is like, if you multiply by 4, that's 20 pi over 12. And this is, you multiply by 3, this will be 21 pi over 12. This is outside of the range. This is bigger than 7 pi over 4 is equivalent to 21 pi over 12. And 5 pi over 3 is equivalent to 4, 12, 20 pi over 12. So this is outside our range. However, we can use this to find further solutions because... The cosine curve, as with the sine curve, they repeat every 360 degrees. So if pi over 4 is one solution, then another solution will occur, 2 pi less than pi over 4, which is outside of our range, and 2 pi more than pi over 4, which again, of course, is outside of our range. Okay. Similarly, 7 pi over 4, another solution would lie 2 pi further on from here, so it's 7 pi over 4 plus 2 pi, which is outside of our range, but then the other solution will be 2 pi less than 7 pi over 4. So 2 pi 
in terms of over 4 is 8 pi over 4. This is equivalent to 2 pi. That gives you minus pi over 4. Now minus pi over 4 is within our range because minus pi over 4 is closer to 0 than minus pi over 3. Okay, it's inside this range. Okay, so your other solution is minus pi over 4 and those are the only two solutions within the range that we have. So therefore we have to then continue on and find what x is. So we add pi over 3 to both of these. So you're going to have pi over 4 plus pi over 3. So pi over 4 plus pi over 3. And the other solution will be negative pi over 4 plus pi over 3. So if you add these two together, you're going to get, that's going to be over 12. You're going to have 3 pi plus 4 pi, which is 7 pi over 12. And you're going to have, again, over 12, you're going to have minus 3 pi plus 4 pi, which is pi over 12. So these are the two solutions within a range, which are solutions to this equation. Now, if we had not modified, okay, the limits, then the solution minus pi over 4, you would not have realized that it's one of the solutions. And you would have ignored it, okay? And you would have taken 7 pi over 4 as a solution, and it would not have been a solution, because then when you, ha when you uh, actually, uh, you know, find what x is, that would take us outside of the range because you've got to add pi over 3 to it which would be more than 2 pi and if you, you, would have, you wouldn't have realized that this is actually one of the solutions because you know when you add pi over 3 to it of course it takes us within the range okay so it's very important for you to modify okay when before you start okay modify the uh, the limits so that you catch all the solutions within the given range okay it's very important that you do that um, thank you for watching and I hope if you have any problems or any questions that you wish me to answer for you um, you can just leave a comment on the comment section and um, I'll try to answer as soon as I can thank you for watching